Beautiful Liberance, it's Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia, here to do your Valentine's Day reading, guys, for 14th of Feb 24. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now, I'm using one card from the Romance Oracle deck, and four from the Lenormand cards, and three from the Lover's Tarot. So we'll get started. And I want to keep you waiting. So we've got this beautiful card here. It's all about love and growth and things flourishing. You know, following your guidance. It says manifesting miracles. Your dream is soon to become a reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So let's pop that up here. Okay, so chosen the Lenormand Heart as a significator card. To give off the energy for Valentine's Day, it is about love and passion. It is about putting 110% into a relationship. It's about being kind and gentle, giving, and it's about receiving too. The focus card is the garden. The garden is about pub public places where you meet with like-minded people. It's about nature, parks, gardens. <coughs> In the old days, this is where you used to meet your lover, it's a place where you were allowed to go to meet them. Um, as things weren't as open as they are now. So, you know, the garden is uh, number 20 that, and it's the 10th house of uh, social activities, things like that. So it does herald a time of healing and growth. And it shows in that card here that I showed you before. It's also a sign that it's time to let go of baggage from the past for some of you and look on towards a bright tomorrow. This might mean, you know, learning to move on from a hurt from a previous relationship or seeing your way through the blockages of a current one. So, you know, uh, following your guidance here, either staying with the person and getting through the hurdles or moving on you may you know uh you may have met at an engagement party or met through someone um some of your friends maybe while you're out um clubbing or some of you may have been speed dating but i don't feel here, Libra, you're someone who falls head over heels in love. Because the Venus in the 10th house chooses a partner with their head rather than their heart. And Capricorn is the same. So you carefully analyse if a person would be the right partner for you. Okay. Now, you also have the moon. The moon, number 32, is deep love and romance, passion that you could have or you're about to find. Now, the Eight of Hearts insert is uh, related to success in love. It's a positive sign for a, a long-term relationship that's fulfilling with the person you love. You know, you're, if you're in a marriage, you'll be happy and free of domestic sorrows and misfortunes because the Eight of Hearts also indicates great satisfaction with children in a family. And that might be the uh, missing puzzle. Now, we also have the mice here, number 23. And the mice is the house of money. So sometimes it means there's a lot of arguments, abuse and stress. And they're factors in your relationship. So perhaps um, your time with your current partner is coming to a painful end. If you're single, the mice can mean that you have too many stress in your life to meet someone. So seeing this card in a love relationship, it's a sign that you have a real chance at a deep and meaningful connection that few get to experience. But it's not just going to be handed to you. With the seven of spades, it shows up to suggest that you truly know deep down how things currently stand in your relationship. There could be obstacles in the way or maybe things are progressing slower than you would like. 
But, you know, either way, it's time to take this honest examination of what you really want out of this relationship. You might be quick to jump to an answer on this, but it's got to feel right. Now, does it make you, or does it match up to your intuitive gut feeling? No. Only when it feels right and good and it's completely in line with your higher self should you move forward. Now, we have... Um, from the lover's tarot we have temperance in reverse and uh temperance is your partner it's ruled by sagittarius so it could be a sagittarius person i do have cancer in here as well now when it comes in reverse it indicates conflicts and clashes because of an imbalance in the relationship you know this may be a result of one of you feeling like you care more than the other does you know, and um, it's about respect that you show your partner and it's not reciprocated. So one of them's not showing that. You know, your partner may be locked into some sort of kind of relationship pattern where they exclude others. Uh, this is where, um, you know, your friends and family don't agree to the relationship. Now, um, this person or your partner may feel a need to battle for your attention and commitment. So they're pushing family and friends away. You may want to make changes, but the, par the partner doesn't agree. Okay, this partner's filled with emotional nervous tension and it's affecting behaviour within your relationship because they're fearful of losing you. But their behaviour is driving you away, for some of you, not all of you. Now, this could be temporary because temperance is all about continuous change. Now, your relationship, we've got the floor in the upright position. Uranus is the ruling planet. So here you are taking a leap of faith for some of you. The floor is indicating the beginning of a new romantic adventure. Or, you know, a fresh chapter in your existing one. Now, the, since the full card is getting ready for ro a romantic experience, it's different from anything you've had been through in the past, okay? Your relationship is unconventional, totally out of the norm. It's, you know, if you're coupled here, Libra, it may have evolved in an unusual way. Or perhaps you met under strange circumstances. But, um, you know, it's also depicted with travel. So you could have met on a journey that you were on in a foreign land. Um, and your best times together are spent away from the daily grind. Because this union is unlikely to be a domestic one. And as I said before, friends and family criticised this relationship. They didn't feel... It filled their expectations. Now, sometimes a relationship is made up of two people working away and meeting up on weekends, or you both live in separate houses. So this person is taking the leap. They're taking what they love, a small amount of money with the fish there, leaving their castle behind and uh, just taking what they need to go on this journey. Now, if you have a future with your coupled partner or this new partner that's coming in because the sun is here and the sun is number 19. So it means it could have been love at first sight for you for singles or there's a happy and passionate relationship coming definitely. But it also means reconciliation, harmony and possibly a pregnancy. Because it's telling me that joy and energy are lying ahead in your relationship. A child may be on the way. If you have um, children already, this is a positive sign, a positive influence uh, for them at this time. You're going to spend a lot of time with close friends and um, family. Your social life is particularly going to be warm and pleasurable around this time. Financially, you are expanding as well. So the sun in the love rating doesn't really need much explanation because it's pretty straightforward. 
It does predict a positive outcome for your relationship. You know, for the foreseeable future, your relationship is going to be a stable one. Now, I do see emotional stress here. And, you know, maybe the couples need to spend some time away. Because I do see that you have a lot to look forward to. You know, um, trust your heart and continue following your guidance. For singles, you are manifesting a miracle love and your dream is soon to become real reality and you're possibly going to meet out in nature or with a, a group of like-minded people now Li libra the lessons and rewards here around the themes of finding harmony finding balance and learning to adjust in a personal relationship now you've got to separate your identity from the opinions of others don't listen to what others says it's not there their uh, love life it's yours you're old enough to know and to learn and grow so learning to hold on to strong opinions and balancing the pleasures of life in love relationships so that's all i've got for you my lovelies uh, my lucky last reading for valentine's day and sending lots of blessings and love your way bye for now